Bella. So we'll fix that, huh? Take care about nature.
What's up folks? Had a good night rest in the new shed with a proper waterproof roof because yes, it turned out to be dry in here. We had a lot of rain last night and yesterday I haven't seen a single drip come through. So that's very satisfying. There's still the tarp on the right side here and that is because the thatch went on there very wet and that's very bad because then the thatch can start rotting from the inside. So I thought better keep the tarp on and wait for the warmer spring weather so hopefully the inside will dry out a bit then instead of letting it all soak more you know. Yeah I had a good night's sleep. There was a bit of sideways rain you know coming in to about a meter. The tip of my sleeping bag the foot end was quite wet not from the inside but the outside. I mean it's still a shed it's not a proper house like. House better has a roof soon. Next month, hopefully. Today, I guess we can do some cleanup. Furthermore, you know, there's a lot of preparation work still to do for the roof. We're talking scallops, about 2500. Just like a, at least a week's work. <laughs> ladders, you need to make ladders. Um, some more prunes, or the, like the horizontals. Yeah, there's always firewood to cut. You know, having a, a shed now, keep your firewood dry, that's so essential here in Ireland. Because otherwise you'd be messing all the year long with wet wood in the, from the forest, you know. Because in the winter even the dead standing wood here in the forest is on the damp side, you know. This is so great now, fill up the whole shed with firewood. Eh? Hello. Finally we're getting closer towards the roof on the roundhouse. The Smooth Fix Friday is back with next week a live stream crafting thatching spars at the roundhouse camp. 1 p.m. ET, 6 p.m. UK and 7 p.m. Central Europe. Consider supporting our content by becoming a Patreon where we post monthly channel updates and some extra content. See you on the next one.